If you're currently experiencing a buildup of earwax because you're super producing this excess, or perhaps you have an impaction of earwax, it's very possible that what you are doing to remove this stubborn earwax might be making it worse, like using a Q-tip here, which ends up pushing the wax down and triggers often the need to visit your doctor to get the earwax removed. Instead, you can use an over-the-counter, super inexpensive first aid antiseptic, a 30% hydrogen peroxide that can effectively soften, break down, and dissolve earwax in the ears. Find out how to tap into the amazing earwax removing power of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is cerumen olytic, which basically means cerumen, which is wax, and olytic, which is the ability to soften. Hydrogen peroxide softens earwax. That's a magical power of the little bubbling kind of effect when you put several drops of hydrogen peroxide into your ear. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher, naturopath here at Natural Health Resources. You might've watched one of my multiple ear plugged, blocked ear videos. Today's video is meant to further aid and assist your efforts in unclogging, unplugging, reducing the muffled hearing, and overall challenges that often are related to earwax buildup inside your ear canal. It's not uncommon for folks who have earwax buildup to experience tinnitus, which is a ringing in the ear, feeling of pressure, sometimes it's clogged, or even sometimes there will be accompanying an infection or fluid in the eustachian tube along with impacted earwax. And sometimes the most annoyingly, a kind of crackly, crickly sound that just is so annoying and even itching. If you experience that, today's video is going to help you greatly because today I'm covering a super simple over-the-counter remedy that involves a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution dropped into your ear and voila, it is going to help dissolve, soften, and reduce those feelings of plugged, blocked, clogged, and really annoying ear troubles. Most of you already have 3% hydrogen peroxide in your home medicine cabinets. And if you don't, it's very easy to find at your local pharmacy and even online. You'll also wanna make sure you have on hand a small glass dropper. I actually recycle a lot of my herbal liquid tincture bottles that have glass droppers, and that's what I'm going to use today. The preparation of your hydrogen peroxide ear drops is absolutely key. The drops also need to be at body temperature. If the drops are either too hot or too cold, it can trigger dizziness. Once the temperature is achieved through a water bath, then you're ready to administer the hydrogen peroxide drops into your ear. You'll lie on your side. Next, you'll squeeze five drops of the hydrogen peroxide solution into your ear, and that will stay in your ear for five minutes. Now it's common to expect some popping, maybe some of the clicking, you might hear the bubbling, you might even feel some lymphatic drainage and the eustachian tubes begin to open. I often will experience ear popping almost instantaneously with the drops. When you're done after five minutes, then you will take a cotton swab or tissue, blot the ear, and sit up and let that drain out. You also wanna repeat this on the other ear. It's not uncommon to see a little discoloration on the cotton swab or tissue as the solution is clearing out of your ear. That's the wax that's been dissolved and is softened, flushing out of the ear. You'll also notice over the course of the next few days, you'll actually be getting more wax coming out. A lot of times it happens at night, so it's not uncommon you might see a little wax debris on your pillowcase. I have a few warnings before you begin this particular home remedy. If you have any tubes in your ears currently, do not do this. Also, if you have any active perforations of the eardrum, do not do this. For the folks that have impacted wax, maybe they're super wax producers, and even folks that have narrower ear canals, you'll want to be a little bit more aggressive with this protocol. You'll want to do five drops in each of the ears, two to three times a day for at least five to seven full days. Now, if you fall into any of those aforementioned categories, you'll also want to use five drops daily before a shower to help eradicate the buildup. So once you're able to get a lot of the wax out, then daily maintenance is really wonderful with this hydrogen peroxide. So my question of the day is, have you ever tried hydrogen peroxide to remove earwax? And are you interested in trying it? Comment down below. I always love hearing from you. At the end of this video, I'll throw up a video card 
to my ear health playlist. That playlist includes a lot of my clogged ear DIY tips and tricks. These videos in combination have over 3 million views and I know they'll help you. Now this video is part one of my healthy ear series. The next video will address how to resolve ear infections with DIY topical drops. So for folks who have a lot of wax buildup, impacted ears, it's not uncommon, they'll also have an ear infection or irritation, or they've got dry skin in the ear. Next video, video number two in this series, you'll not wanna miss. It's very helpful for creating a healthy environment within the ear canal that also can reduce the amount of ear wax that you're building up on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and can eliminate some of the need for you to have to get the impactions and all the gunk out of your ears. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of my DIY home ear infection remedies video that will be coming up in the next few weeks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on our next video.